music from new, new stuff and old stuff too. This is called the Black Crow Gazebo. experience I had about 13 years ago. It's called The Strange Exchange of Life and Death. On the window pane of the underglow, I can still hear voices in the deep domain. Can be drawn from the night till dawn at best. And the mission of Thank you. 
Well, thank you very much. Uh, so what do you do, what do you do when uh, you invite someone into your home and you're really addicted to this person? You go, I gotta have this person in my home, you know, but this person's not good for me. And this person is addicted to something much more powerful than you. You, and if you accept it, then you create your own hotel hell. And that's the name of this song. One, two, three, four. Split Personalities, that's the name of this song. <laughs> I like writing songs about people with severe personal problems with their personalities. <laughs> I've ran across a few. I had a few girlfriends like that that I had to let go of. And it was really, a <laughs> what a story that was. I'll tell you about that in a minute here. <laughs> yeah, this is called Split Personality. She's got a 
understand. A busy ox shot Scottish, and that's what I got. She's got a split personality. She's got a split personality. She's got a split personality. And if you snooze, you lose a gentle touch. Or dominate too late, she'll run. a few people like that. I'll bet yeah, you have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Um, yeah, we're going to do uh, Macumba. No, actually, we're going to do Hubba Hubba de Gumbo. So there's another <laughs> crazy story about this crazy girl that I met uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, where I live, uh, 1993. I had a place called the Grotto Coffee House. It was very similar to this place, actually. I, I lived there and had performances like this and stuff. And um, anyways, I was at this bus stop. I don't drive, so I took the bus. And, there's this cute little girl who's sitting next to me, you know, in short blonde hair, and she goes, you're Eddie Detroit, aren't you? I said, yeah, who are you? She goes, oh, my name's Nancy Manning. You and I had sex at the Mason Jar Club back in the 80s, you know. I said, no, he didn't. What talk, who, who the hell are you? I said, yeah. So, you know, she said, hey, you, you want to get high? And I said, on what? She pulls out a whole ounce of cocaine out of her purse. I said, oh, my God, what the hell is that? She goes, what do you think it is? I said, come on, let's go. So we go to my club. And at that time, you know, I had the instant Polaroid, so you could just take the pictures and it just pops out, right? But they don't have many more. But anyways, at that time, I had one. So we're taking naked pictures and stuff, you know. <laughs> Having a great old time, you know. I didn't get as high as she did. She was just, you know, snorting away. And I just took a little bit, you know, I didn't want to burn the hair out of my nose, you know. <laughs> so I, I, I do the vitamin M, you know, the weed, you know. And that's what I like, you know. But anyways, so, you know, so, <laughs> so she... Uh, She's all, you know, she's all cool and everything, and all of a sudden I started playing with her feet, you know, because I had this foot fetish. I said, I had beautiful feet, you know. <laughs> I want to suck her toes, you know. I really want to do that. And she I started playing with her feet. She goes, what the hell are you doing? And she, all of a sudden she goes, I hate guys with foot fetishes. She pulls out a switchblade knife and stabs me in the groin. And, ah! I'm bleeding, right? So I kicked that out of her hand. She picked it up. She grabbed her clothes. She took off. And I called the police. You know, the lady, lady cop came out. She goes, so what does this girl look like? I said, well, I can do better than that. I've got naked pictures of her. How about some of this? You know? So she's looking at him. She's going, you know, she looks really familiar. And I said, well, I said, uh, she goes, what's, what was her name? And I said, Nancy Manning. She goes, Nancy Manning? She goes, do you know who Nancy Manning is? I said, no, actually, I don't. She said, she's like one of the most Ten wanted women in America. She was in a sex scandal and murder charge with David Duke from the Ku Klux Klan. I said, what? <laughs> Never to be found again, you know? So anyways, I had to write a song about this. And uh, during, during our time of play, uh, I called her the Guava Kitty because I used to watch this cartoon, this little baby girl chasing this kitty going, Guava, Guava, Guava Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. So I called her the Guava Kitty while we're snorting coke and having a good time and all that kind of stuff. And my dad used to call me Hubba Hubba de Gumbo. I have no, no idea what the fuck that meant, right? So the song is called Hubba Hubba de Gumbo meets Guava Guava Kid. <laughs>
this young man here. He's got the James Cotton blues band playing in his mouth. <laughs> Somewhere. <coughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to do a, um, a Calypso tune. All right. And uh, a little poetry. 
poetry. And it's going to be a three song bongo stuff here. Three pieces of bongo stuff from the old days. The Jungle Captive album, my Jungle Captive album. And um, anyways, this is called. Okay, that's okay. We got the water cup. Oh, yay. Fantastic. All right. Yay. This is called Calypso Reefer. <laughs> it's a crusty leaf of Calypso Reef. The dog was long to get a walk. Got the plant of skin, the couple of taco, make a big dog in a row. A sleep and born a yolk for the whole lot of You get it in the summer heat. Thank you. 
Jamie that rearranges his guitar. Here we're going to do a song from my Jungle Captive album called Seed of the Oyster. This is uh, actual stuff that happened in history. Cleopatra really had a thing for wearing lace and oyster shells with pearls dangling from them. And so did Queen Elizabeth, from what I understand, according to history. So this is an abstract historical collage <laughs> of cross-cultural confusion. <laughs> spank them. That's all you have to do. Spank them. Yeah. Okay, so, ready?
Well, everybody's got their conception of, uh, you know, they can think about what the Godhead is or if you believe in God or not. And everybody's got an opinion. It's kind of like assholes. Everybody's got one, you know. And so I got my, my opinion, too. And what I believe, uh, and that's what this song's all about, immortal gods. So immortal gods, what, I, what I'm trying to do is um, I thought, you know, uh, there's a lot of bad in the world. There's a lot of good in the world. And, you know, throughout time and history, good and bad is always, was always there. And it will be in the future, too, I guess. You know, that's what looks like it's happening. However, you know, in the heavens at one time, according to Christian folklore and some other folklore as well, things were all great. You know, things were just, everybody got along, everybody was humble. There was humbleness until God created something called pride. Pride was the troublemaker right there. So I thought, you know, if God created pride, and supposedly in Christian folklore, which I was raised in Catholic school, they said, oh, you know, you believe in the devil, you're going to go to hell. Well, you know, who knows if there's a devil or not? We don't know, but there's a positive and negative. But in Christian folklore, supposedly Lucifer was the prettiest angel, and he was the Johnny Depp, you know, or Brad Pitt, you know, <laughs> angels, right? And so God said, well, you know, you're the coolest guy in the world here, you know, in our, in our heavens here. And uh, so Lucifer said, well, you know, if I'm the coolest guy and I'm your right-hand man, maybe I should have your job. And God said, oh, hell no, man. You're going to go to hell. You're going to go down to earth, man. That, that's your domain right there on the earth. And not according to Christian folklore. I don't know what you believe. That's, I don't know if I believe it, but, you know, it, it's a possibility. We don't, we're only using 10% of our brain. I think Einstein used 15. So I don't Who knows what happens to the other 90%? Who cares? I'm like Donald Duck, I don't give a fuck, you know, <laughs> true story. Um, so, but, you know, so, uh, you know, he gave me his own domain and everything. So wouldn't you say, or maybe I thought, that maybe God is like the man behind the curtain, like in the Wizard of Oz, right? He was all great and powerful, but then when, he, we found, when, they, when they found out he was the man behind the curtain, and, uh, you know, like there was some faults there, <coughs> possibly they said, oh, no, God is all good, you know? I don't believe that. I don't believe that myself. In Shakespeare, Shakespeare said it's only God talking to himself again. Now, you know, he's a pretty good renowned writer, I guess. Uh, you know. So anyway, let's name of this song, Immortal Gods. Did you ever think of yourself as a god? Just like Medusa, turning men into stone. Joan of Arc, angel in the heart. Do you really know it? Your singleness, just like Apollo. 
some DJ. We're going to come back in about uh, half an hour, I think. So stick around and uh, hope you like the hope you like the show so far. Thank you so much. We got CDs for only five euros. We have vinyl up there. Take us home. Put them under your pillow. You won't have nightmares, I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Listen, listen, great DJ. Thank you so much. Okay, this is a song. Um, Jamie and I, we live in Arizona. We have this uh, sheriff over there that's very corrupt. His name is Sheriff Arpaio. I don't even believe him when he says hello, you know. But that's a whole other story. And um, pretty corrupt there. And they're also tearing down all the old buildings, all the historical buildings in Phoenix, Arizona. And they're building modern shit buildings, you know? And um, I hate that, you know, when you take a historical piece of art and destroy it. Yeah, I hate that. So I wrote this song. It's uh, called Tacky Town. And maybe you've been to a tacky town before. We live in one. But I need the hot weather, you know? Another one of those type of songs, you know, I live in Glendale, Arizona. 
It looks really nice, but uh, there's drugs everywhere. They have the methamphetamine problem going on across America right now. And it's the big fad, you know, and it's just really sad, you know, because it makes you just go crazy. I don't smoke that shit, but I've seen people just walking around going, <laughs> like this all the time, you know, there's too much, man. So, no matter where you live in America today, it's a bad neighborhood. I don't care where you live. It's called Street of Dreams. I live on the street of dreams in my neighborhood. There's a bag lady on the street in my neighborhood. And there's a heroin dealer in my neighborhood. And there's a psychic healer in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, me in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, me in my neighborhood. There's a person just got stabbed in my neighborhood. There's a gangster, rob the cab in my neighborhood. Dog got rabies oh, in my neighborhood. There's a person just got shot in my neighborhood. And there's a lady, she looks hot in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, in my neighborhood. Lady on the street in my neighborhood. I want everybody to sing in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. There's a person just got stabbed in my neighborhood. There's a gangster robbed the cab in my neighborhood. And baby. Babies in my neighborhood. Does your dog have rabies? No, I don't think so. In my it's in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Everybody. In my neighborhood. I can't hear you. In my neighborhood. I can't hear you. My neighborhood. In my cigarettes. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. I'm okay. Well, you know, a lot of people are bitter. I don't know why. I, I, I know why, you know. So this is called the bittersweet critter. Everybody has a little bittersweet critter in them. I know they do. You just have to control it, you know. It's a bittersweet critter that's in us all. You can crawl to the small.
Arizona without a twisted cowboy tail. You know, there's a place in Arizona called Skull Valley, if you can imagine that. And believe it or not, they have witches there. But they're not your ordinary witches. They're cowboy witches and cowgirl witches. Can you imagine a fucking cowgirl and cowboy witch? Well, it does exist in Skull Valley, Arizona. So I had this wild dream that I visited over there, you know, and it's a pretty wild dream. And so I wrote this song called Skull Valley. I was born in a dirty old city and moved out west where the land was pretty. Rode through the town on a horse named Brown. End up in the valley of an old ghost town. Take me to Skull Valley for the rest of my life where I can be me. Take me to Skull Valley for the rest of my life where I can be me. And I rode through the town on a horse named Brown. Riding on a mission like an old bloodhound. Grass pitch and red lights. That's where I'm gonna go ride the night. Riding all day to Riding on the mission of an old ghost town Ran into a gal named Diamond Lil Lived in a house with many a thrill And that was in Idaho, 1920 Felt like a bee that found his honey That's the story that was seldom told That's the story in the days of old Hey now, hey now, roll in the hay Save it for the one you'll marry someday Hey now, hey now, roll in the hay Save it for the one you'll marry someday to the sun. It's about being a free spirit. I'm a, I'm a free spirit. I have a lot of friends. I can't do relationships. I really enjoy my life. You can be my friend. But you can't be my lover. Get jealous. I'm safe, sane, and consensual.
Are you a free spirit? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me. We can do erotic play. I also do butt drumming too, like ass drumming on bongos. If anybody's interested, I can drum on your butt. Just let me know. We can try the William Tell Overture on your butt. <laughs> Where were you when the blue was blue? Where were you when the blue was blue? Safe, sane, and consensual.
Well, you know, some people call me a modern day Gilligan. Anybody here ever see Gilligan's Island, that American sitcom? Or, you know, you've seen it, maybe, maybe you haven't. This guy living on this island, you know? Well, I'm kind of like that. I live, in a, I live in a little cottage in Glendale, Arizona that's built from rocks. It was made for the fruit pickers of Glendale, Arizona back in 1933. I live in this little fruit picker, it's like a cave, you know, but the, my floor is all rocks too. So it's kind of like the Flintstones. Have you seen the Flintstones? <laughs> yes. So they, people call me, man, you're a modern day Gilligan, bud, you know? All right, so, all right, so I wrote this song called Modern Day Gilligan. As I washed up on the shore, scraped the barnacles off the hull. Is there somewhere to rest my bones, or shall I visit old Davy Jones? Before my eyes in old Thailand, I sank upon my old island. Trade winds of old shrunken heads, and fish heads, and all nothing said. Modern day Gilligan, angel fish kiss. Modern day Gilligan, yellow belly mist. Ride my seahorse on starfruit colliery, cast away a play. Ride my seahorse on starfruit colliery, and on half moon bay. And on my yacht of apricot, remember when forget me not. Tie myself in sailor's knot, to sleep in deep more Sunday hot. <laughs> Modern day Gilligan, angel fish kiss. Modern day Gilligan. Cross-eyed. 
Rocky Ridge, I'll find you. And on that bamboo cross I made, I'll find the ties to bind you. Seashells at the seashore. I ended up in Singapore. And at the shores of Ecuador, I'll meet you there to mind you. Request for a song. <laughs> bully, bully! Yeah! yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, right. Okay. We're on the. We're on the. On the, on the. Bully, bully! That's it. Yeah, yeah. Bully, bully. We're on the train. We're on the train, right? Today. And they went, bully, bully. I said, bully, bully. What are you talking about? <laughs> we started laughing. Everybody's looking at us like we're weird. <laughs> Thank you. 
Probably one of the worst movies ever made, but it's one of my favorites. I'm into B movies, you know, ones that don't make any sense, you know, with uh, these like one hit wonders, you know, that they're on the where are they now list, you know. And um, so this is my tribute to Ed Wood. Plan All right. If you cannot make it there on time, plan nine, plan nine. Splash on your makeup, yours or mine. Plan nine, plan nine. Take your painting, cockamamie, say we lace you on the way she hangs by, hangs by. Be a slave to your grave on the planet now and then. Soccer men, soccer men. If you remain on the plane, look for the sign. Plan nine. Flying around in a spaceship bound for a line. Plan nine. Are you in my house of dreams? Your Bella Lugosi final scene. The scream of the butterfly and rhyme. Plan nine, plan nine. Is this the place I'm lost in space and time? Plan nine. Is this the end of the show? On this paper, UFO. Oh no! sheriff, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's the way it goes. We'll be there for Halloween, you know. Thank you. 